My name is Hector Rodriguez, and this is my speech about dinosaurs. Ever since I could remember, I have been in love with dinosaurs. They are such interesting creatures that were never seen firsthand by most of mankind. Around the age of five is when my mother purchased me my first dinosaur book from National Geographic. It was mainly a picture book, but the animals in the book fascinated me. There were tall ones and small ones, fat ones and strong ones, and everything in between. Three of my all-time favorite dinosaurs are the Triceratops, T-Rex, and Pterodactyl. Triceratops were grass-eating animals. They got their names from the three horns that were located on their heads. These horns were a very good defense weapon. They could be used to pierce through their carnivore predator skin, flesh, and even bone. A fully grown triceratops could weigh up to six tons, and unlike most dinosaurs, whose heads were smaller than their bodies, this dinosaur's head was mighty big, according to Discovery.com. Based on studies, the triceratops brain was about the same size as a human fist. They had scissor-like teeth that could slice through vegetation without hesitation. As I previously mentioned before about the horns of a triceratops, I would like to talk about a few other things concerning their horns. These horns were steady weapons, very similar to antlers that deers have, and were quite sturdy. It had two large horns located above the eyes and one short horn above its beak. According to prehistory.com, Triceratops walked on all four short and sturdy legs with hoof-like claws. Its body was bulky and had a short tail. It also had thick bumps hides to protect against predator attacks including ones from the legendary T-Rex. Triceratops lived during a period in time known as the Late Cretaceous Period, about 65 to 70 million years ago. Tyrannosaurus rex, meaning tyrant lizard, and rex, meaning king, lived up to its name. These fierce carnivores were at the top of the food chain, and had very few enemies and virtually no predators. They too, like Triceratops, lived during the Cretaceous period. Its most dangerous weapon, hands down, was its massive head, which was the size of an adult person. To go along with such a head was a T-Rex's razor-sharp teeth, which were eight inches long. It is said that a Tyrannosaurus rex bite could penetrate a Triceratops and even take out a chunk of its skin. Ouch. The teeth were cone-shaped, razor sharp. A T-Rex could reach a size of 42 feet long and 14 feet tall at the hips, ranging in weight from 6 to 8 short tongues. The last of my favorite dinosaurs is the Pterodactyl. Its name means winged finger or flying lizard. The proper name of the pterodactyl is actually a pterosaur. They existed from the Tri Triassic to the end of the Cretaceous period, 65 to 220 million years ago, according to wikipedia.com. Their wings were formed by a membrane of skin, muscle, and other tissue stretching from the legs to a dramatically lengthened fourth finger. Many pterosaurs had fur coats made up of hair-like filaments known as sinofibers, which also cover their bodies and parts of their wings. Although they are considered dinosaurs, that too is a misconception. They are really related to birds. The first fossil was found in 1784 by an Italian naturalist. What was so amazing about these creatures was the distance they could fly and the mechanical techniques it took 
for many of these large pterosaurs to take flight. I hope this speech has not only shown you why dinosaurs are so interesting, but that it also brings out the inner kid in you. So make sure that you keep your head up like a T-Rex and soar like a pterosaur. That is all, Professor.